Hi and welcome to this Get Unready With Me makeup removal video. Today I'm going to be using this nourishing Omega Rich Cleansing Oil. I do actually have another one which is the Wildflower. I like them both but there is more of a thick oily kind of feel to this particular cleansing oil and it is definitely one of my favourites. So I'm just going to put a bunch of pumps into my hand. <laughs> And begin to massage it into my skin. There is a very pleasant fruit smell to this particular product without it being too heavy. LMS is one of my favourite brands. Particularly their serums and moisturisers. It feels like you are having something of a luxury treatment whilst you're at home. Especially if you are able to pop on a serum and then a moisturiser after using one of the cleansing oils. I have been wearing makeup quite a lot this week quite a lot for me so this is just a nice way to end the week and have something of a beautifying moment have a little bit of time to yourself And you're just looking to wind down for the weekend, which is exactly what I would plan to do. I'm going to try and get some steps in. But I'm not going to be putting too much pressure on myself. Until next week, at least. What I love so much about the cleansing oils is that they do not do anything too harsh to your skin, unlike a scrub, which in my teens and early 20s, even my early 30s is what I was primarily using. And I wish that somebody had told me that that was
was really unnecessary. I didn't need to be using it every day just because it said daily on it. <laughs> doesn't mean that you need to use it daily at all. I'm just going to be running some water into my sink so I can rinse this all off. And post that, I'm next going to be using this Murad Acid Replenishing Peel. <laughs> Um, I use this on my forehead, the sides of the eyes and just a little bit underneath trying to avoid too much of the under eye because well I'm worried it's going to make my wrinkles worse. <laughs> I did actually use one of my favourite under eye masks last night which is the Rodile Dragon's Blood masks and yeah I, I haven't used it in oh, it's been a hot minute I'll be honest it really has but afterwards my under eyes were looking really good and I think they still do look good uh, just now, in my humble opinion, of course. Okay, so I'm just going to wash this off and then we will continue. So with this replenishing acid peel, you need to shake it up. To allow both components of the product to mix together. And then you sweep it on to the skin. And give yourself a very shiny forehead. <laughs> You can use cotton balls, cotton pads, reusables, it's absolutely up to you. Just make sure that you are putting on a thin layer onto the skin and try not to oversaturate too much funny faces like are optional <laughs> Okay, so that is pretty much all the places that I like to use it. You can also use it on the neck and chest area in the exact same fashion. Make sure that you are putting the product onto a cotton pad, cotton ball, whatever it may be and use it thinly in the area and you definitely do not want to get it into your eyes because ow it is not a nice product to get into your eyes let me tell you it's something that I 
unfortunately have experience with. <laughs> so I'm going to let this sit for a while, but the product that I'm going to be using post this, um, I'm not going to be using a serum today. I'm just going to be using this and then a moisturiser and that's going to be it because I'm worried that I'm going to be putting too much on my face and start a reaction, an irritation of some sort. But the one that I'm going to be using is this sample. <laughs> it really is a sample. Um, I'm going to cut it actually. It's the... Lift Active Supreme Hypodermic Filler and I'm going to be pretty much targeting the same areas that I just did with the Murad. I've only used this once, the, the Vici, um, so I can't really speak to how effective it is going to be over something like, I don't know, I don't have much experience with um, this kind of product in particular, but I would say it's something akin to kind of like an oily serum I got this sample from a purchase that I made on eBay I can't remember what my original product was, <laughs> but they sent me a good seven or eight samples of this for whatever reason. <laughs> and I'm not going to complain because I love beauty products, skincare. And just self-care in general, really which is ultimately what I am so desperately trying to achieve. And besides using some Alemis eye cream, that is literally all I'm going to be doing to my skin. Uh, as you may or may not know, <laughs> I've had quite a lot of acne on my lower chin slash jaw kind of area as of late, um, which has since been mostly rectified by changing my diet and that lasted for a whole five and a half days and I'm, I'm in a good place with it it literally just finished today it was supposed to run for eight days but I'm like uh, no <laughs> it's literally where I was at with that so but yes I'm very happy with how my skin's looking and that is actually going to be a factor in why I will continue to be mindful of my diet, make sure that I'm eating the right kind of things and making the right choices. Um, you know, I'm not perfect, I am human and things happen and things will happen today, in the future, but ultimately I am 
trying to be more mindful about what it is that I'm putting in my body, the effects it's having on my body, and that's really what I have learned from my latest dieting stint. <laughs> Let's call it a dieting stint because that's exactly how I feel about it, and that's it, it's done. Thank you so much for joining me for this little get on ready with me makeup removal video. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you have any questions about any of the products that I have used please feel free to drop me a line in the comment section down below. I am always happy to be answering any questions without hesitation and will always be giving a completely honest opinion about anything, <laughs> not just the products, dieting, anything that you've seen in my videos, anything that you've seen me mention, I'm happy to talk about. I hope to see you again soon and that you are having a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening or a good night wherever you are in the world and I will see you again very soon.